Welcome to the stream, everybody. Wait, you think online is a less consistent experience than live? Okay, well, we could talk about it. Do you guys think you get a more consistent tournament experience off of live events? If you've been to them. Or online events. Gameplay IRL is more consistent, though. Uh, uh... Kind of unfair to compare online to offline. There are too many variables. Yeah, I, I'm not even trying to say which one's better or worse. What I'm what I'm saying is that you cannot look at one and say, man, I missed this one because it's so much more consistent than the other one. Let's be real here. Neither of them are that consistent. Hey, there are things that go down at tournaments that make a, a one experience uh, completely different from another, thus making live events pretty inconsistent. Now, I think they could both be inconsistent, but to say what Ginger said is what I disagree with. Here, let me show you. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what sparked that kind of conversation. And and whenever there's any kind of spark in conversation in Melee, I'm on it. Basically, Ginger says, one thing that was always nice about IRL Melee was the consistency of it all. I didn't have to wonder about my character, my internet connection, my opponent's internet connection, my router, my monitor, my controller adapter, my computer settings, etc. Now, he is correct in that these are things you have to worry about when you play online. The problem with this comment is that it assumes that live events are any more consistent. I don't think they are. So the reason this conversation started is because then Nikki, who is a top European player, aka uh, Leffen fanboy, he says, I see where he's coming from, but IRL majors have shitty small setups, bad lighting, no food near the venue and you can't bring and you can't bring any not enough space too few setups to warm up properly too hot and cold temperatures those are just some examples once you have your net play setup going ping is the only issue i am up. okay well no that's not true either uh you could have you could have spectrum as your internet service provider where they just decide to shit the bed randomly that happens you could have like Cody's internet connection and then you end up on Johnny's tier list where he rates your your you as like dog shit tier for internet. That could happen and that's not your fault. But what I think about this is I agree with Nikki. I think Nikki's right. I think online events can be hella inconsistent. And I I, I jumped into the conversation when uh, I saw a real beat. Is it Ryo Beat or Real Beat? I keep hearing different answers. I call him Ryo Beat. He, he said that this was a stretch. He said what Nikki was saying was a stretch. And I, I, I saw what he said, and I very much disagreed. Okay, small sh shitty setups are like 2% of them, and you can just wait for a good one. Okay, hold on. I, I want to start by addressing these points, okay? Small shitty setups are like 2% of them, and you can just wait for a good one. Remember the old strat? If you wanted to play with another player, you'd have to go to a setup and then do a money match in order to get priority on a setup. Otherwise, you're probably not going to find it unless you wait in us in a rotation they're maxed out four people already you got to be the fifth person on the rotation you're lucky if you find the three person rotation and even that's going to be like a 20 minute wait and you're not going to get to play the person you're trying to play because you can't jump on a setup with two people the best chance you have of getting on a setup is going to the dog shit one the one with the with like there's a fat line across the middle or it, or it's like it's all glitched out it's looking like you know Softcore porn when you weren't paying for it. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's like the squiggly porn. Okay, look, you got. I'm, I'm, it's probably an old person thing. You probably, you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, but anyways, very, very rarely is a venue too cold. You can definitely prepare. No, ah, uh, uh, that's not true. And then some people perceive cold differently. Like I'm not a person who gets super cold. I also play Samus, so like my hands could be freezing. I could have frostbite, and I could still wave dash back down smash. That's not gonna stop. Right? But for a Fox player who's got a, like, perfect ledge dash, I could see it. I, I get it. All of these things are definitely, uh, present, in my opinion, at live events. They're definitely things that you have to consider and, and watch out for. I don't think it's fair to imply all things are the same whenever you show up to a live event, right? Left and went on a rant that I thought was hilarious. Because I think this accurately described the experience. Right? He's like, net play events aren't perfect, but they're legit a hundred times more fair and consistent than offline events. Oh, I have yet to ever disagree with Leffen, and this is not going to be it. This is not going to be the time. I agree with him. 
the only thing that's really up in the air is your internet connection and like ping spikes and shit like that. But as far as everything else, just being in your room by yourself playing the game is going to be the same almost every single time. Playing on a 9 hour jet lag difference on a 12 inch CRT with no colors in a corner. There you go, that's the TV I'm talking about. While you can't hear the game audio. Oh yeah, that's the thing. Only one side works. Only one side of the audio works. So when you're edge guarding a fox on the right and they hit you with the side B and you react to the sound normally to cover it, but this time you don't, so you get nicked by it and then they just up air you. Hit you with the Sakurai combo and then you're dead and then they pop off and they start high-fiving all their homies. And then you get a diss track made out of you. That's just f***ed up. All because I was sitting on a fucking Ninja Turtles TV where the right side of the audio didn't fucking work. That's a bull. That shit happens. While you can't hear the game audio over hundreds of fans screaming in your ear, as someone bumps into you mid-game trying to see the stock count. You know, you know what I had once? I once was in the middle of like Losers Finals. He was like an OG. He was like a gangster guy who was like 40 or 50 who literally walked up to me while I was playing Losers Finals or Grand Finals, something like that. And he goes, yo, 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 I got next. I played DK and he's, it was at a bar, right? So he was kind of like gone, right? And I, I'm like looking at him. I'm like, oh my God, okay. And I, I look at Jerry, the TO. I'm like, yo, can you get him out of here? Like I, I said that and he goes, oh, what you, what you mean? And then like Jerry's like, yo, can you, can you please leave, man? He's like, no, no, no I, I can leave. But why is he talking to me like that? So here's this OG gangster guy. That I just, I just called on Jerry to get him out of here. Like Jerry's a bouncer and this guy's some nobody. I'm like, yo, get him out of here. And he's like, no, no, he's not going to disrespect me like that. And, and he starts getting like offended by it. And then he goes to the table with his other gangster homies, OG homies. And he starts talking. He's like, no, nah, I don't like that kind of disrespect. Because I was getting worried. I'm like, dude, these guys are like drunk. This guy has probably fucked around in, earlier in his life. Like, and he's pissed. He got disrespected. I, I, you know how much how gangsters feel about being disrespected and then Jerry being the homie he is he comes up to me He's like I know that guy's starting trouble or whatever, but real talk if something goes down. I got your back I got a license carry in my car. I'm like, yo, Jerry <laughs> It's cool, man. Uh, let me go talk to him. We'll see. We'll see if we don't need to go that route yet <laughs> uh, Honestly, I've, I've fucked up. I was just like, yeah, yeah I just owned up to it and they were like totally cool with it All Right? you just go you just go up and you show them respect so Jerry didn't have to <laughs> pull pull out the, the, the yomper from, from the glove box. You know what I'm saying? The problem solver. <laughs> God bless Jerry, though. That's how I knew he was a real one. Right there. Right then and there. And the FGC says Smash is soft. Are you kidding me? Have him talk to Jerry. This doesn't even get into. Like, what? Like I have to take a shit before a match. Every stall has, like, a shitload of toilet paper or shit already in the toilet. The door doesn't even close, and you're a top player, so people are gonna see you through the big ass crack in the door. He's like, hey, that's Hugs taking his shit! And I gotta deal with that before a match? They're probably gonna ask me for a picture the moment I get out. Like, I flush the toilet, and then they ask me for a selfie in the bathroom. This is the kind of shit I have to deal with? I never have to deal with that online. I could play from my laptop on the toilet if I really wanted to. Easy! Not only that, but like, then there's other things, like, not even just before a match, but like, just, just little things you gotta deal with, like people asking you for photos and stuff, like right after losing important tournament sets, so it's just like, gets on your nerves and you gotta deal with that. And then you go into your loser's match right away, it's like, people don't give you a break. This is, <laughs> this is exactly what it looks like. Me taking a picture with a fan immediately after I lose. And now imagine if I wasn't knocked out of the tournament, and I still had more matches to go. Let's say this was winners, and I had to play another match like right away against you. How do you think I'm feeling? That's already f***ing with my head. I don't have to deal with that online. This wasn't that moment though. Fendi didn't do that. Fendi knows. This is just our thing. Like every year he takes a picture with me at Evo or SmashCon. Yeah, yeah, SmashCon. I could tell because this is the shitty part of the venue where they stick Melee into. That's one thing I didn't like about SmashCon. I wish they would put us in the main venue. Remember when Leffen would like refuse signing any autographs and people would get pissed because he knew that dealing with people was like just an awful way to stay tournament ready? Leffen is a diva. Yeah, because he has to be. I'm a diva too at tournaments. You have to be. If you're trying to play your best, you have to be a diva. At least if you're like popular, right? If you're someone like Leffy, you gotta be. Mango doesn't even show up to venues until he's gotta play because he knows how popular he is. He knows how many people are gonna be all over him. <laughs> Mango hides so he doesn't have to say no because he's got his brand. 
He's the cool guy. He's the cool top player. He can't be at the venue telling people to fuck off the way Leffen does. Because he's got his brand, dude. He's got to preserve it. Leffen, on the other hand, that his brand is being a dick, so he gets to just say no to people. The only food you've eaten in the last two days is nachos with cheese and stale protein bars from the hotel lobby. Press 1. If you've been to a live tournament and your dinner was a bag of hot Cheetos or some form of equivalent meal. Yo, let's go, baby. Water is $9 a bottle, so you take your chances playing dehydrated. Oh, so much. Absolutely, I can't leave the venue. I've been in the spot where I gotta get dehydrated because the water is too expensive. And I really, I just like under principle, I cannot justify paying $10 in Vegas for a bottle, a half size bottle of water. And I got TPP, so I can go to the commentator's booth and then grab some Nestle Pure Life for free. But what about everyone else? What are they gonna drink? They gotta play dehydrated? They gotta drink from a fountain? How are they gonna drink from a fountain? I put my lips all over the fountain. It's got germs everywhere. Why would you be able to drink from that fountain? That's fucked up. I do it to build up my immune system. Don't ever drink at the fountains at tournaments. Yeah, it's mine now. Territory. The worst thing that could happen in an online event is that ping is bad. This affects both players, but you can play three frames to basically eliminate rollbacks. Desyncs will be fixed soon and offline you have TVs dying mid-set due to power outages, so when unplugging it, I... God damn it, does this guy ever miss? Does Leffen ever miss? I, I, I'm out here agreeing with Nikki and Leffen? What's going on? Europeans really do make sense sometimes. I read this, I was dying, because all of these are like, totally relatable things. I haven't had to deal with the jet lag thing, but I understand. It's definitely a thing for European players. I haven't had to deal with it. I haven't been to Europe enough, and usually when I do, I go early. I make a whole thing about it. So I catch up on sleep. And now the Europeans can do that when they come here, but they come here so often. And it takes away so much from their regular lives that I don't blame them for just trying to play through the jet lag sometimes. They have to. I'm not even like touching the surface of inconsistencies at all live events that, uh, that could affect tournament performance. Maybe not in the same direct way as like a fucking match disconnect online would, but there's so many different factors that play into like a tournament performance when you go to a live event. I think people are assuming that either side is complaining about online or offline. I think, I think, well, at least I am. And I think Leffen too is just trying to make the point that you can't say that offline events are just way more reliable because I don't, I agree they're not. Maybe Leffen went a little further with uh, these, this whole rant here. I just thought it was just funny. Now, I'm also wondering if all these online players that are coming up, or that, I'm sorry, that are just like playing a lot more now are gonna actually try to do live events. Like, I think the online to live transition is very, very real. Like, I cannot wait to actually play an over the board tournament in chess. I cannot wait to do like a live Legends of Runeterra tournament. It's gonna be so hype. I thought it was an interesting conversation to have. And I definitely uh, just feel like it's not fair to say that online is trash because live is just so perfect and it's not even close to true. They're both messes, I agree. And one could be better than the other. I, I could agree with that opinion, but I don't think uh, it's fair to imply that live events are great when they're when they're really a fucking crapshoot too. I've, I've seen some shit. All right, thanks everyone. Appreciate it. I'm gonna peace out. See ya. Later, later, later. Here's your allowance, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Yeah, don't put that on the out of context. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Me make good video, me get views.